Hello and welcome to another Learn Learn Python tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can add animated ASCII art to your Python console programs. So here's a nice demonstration, nice and simple this one. It's got some uh, an animated Pac-Man type thing and some ASCII text there. Okay, so let's get going. What do we need? Well, first of all you're going to need to create two text files or more depending on how many frames you're going to have in your um, in your animation and in each of those text files you're going to put one frame so there's the first frame uh, of the animation and there's the second frame of the animation and in my program it's just going to switch between the two of them to create the illusion of a chomping pac-man there we go good um, you can create the ASCII art yourself or you just go onto google uh, and search for animated ASCII art or ASCII art uh, and you can just create your own so let's get started. We're going to need uh, to create a new Python file and save the Python file. Oop, not save a copy. Uh, save as. There we go. Animation.py. There we go. So save it uh, as whatever you want to call it. I'm calling mine animation.py. Save it as a Python file. Make sure you save it to the same directory as your two text files. They should all be in the same directory for now to make it nice and easy. There we go. And let's get coding. We're going to be using the OS module and the time module. The OS module we're going to be used for clearing the screen in between frames and the time module we're going to use as the time delay um, between frames. So let's just start off and let's clear the screen. If you're on Windows you use CLS. If you're on Linux then you would use as, uh, clear Oh, it's not there. There we go. And let's add in the names of our files. So that we're going to load from. So we're going to create a file list. This one, Pacman. Txt. Uh, so I've got two. I've only got two files. Pacman one. Txt. Pacman two. Txt. There we go. If you've got more files, just add them to your list, and it will just rotate in order through the list. Uh, and then we'll create an empty list called frames. The reason being is that what we're going to do is we're going to take each of those file names, we're going to load the files and we're going to add the contents of each of those files into the frames list. Uh, that way we don't have to keep reloading them each time we, uh, we, we, we're going through each frame which is a bit more efficient. It doesn't really make too much difference but it's more efficient so I like to do it that way. So. So for each name in the file names, and then we'll open each file, uh, and we'll open it in read more mode, which is why we do R, and we'll set the encoding uh, to be UTF-8. If you're using pure uh, ASCII, then you don't need to do that, um, but if you're not sure where you got the ASCII art from, it might actually contain uh, Unicode characters uh, rather than ASCII characters. This should work for both, so it shouldn't be a problem there. Uh, as F, there we go, and we'll take each one of those files that it opens and we'll add it or append it to the uh, frames list. There we go, good. Oh, no appends, append. So we add each, so now at this point our program, each of those files will have been opened and all the contents of those files would be written into the frames list ready to be used. And then we've only opened each file once. There we go. Now all that, uh, once that's all that's done, we can just start rotating through our frame list and start printing them out for frame in frames. Uh, what this line of code here does is it um, the frames list is actually a two-dimensional list containing uh, each frame is a list of rows. So this will be a little sublist with 13 items in it. And what it says is, okay, just join all of those into one long string separated by uh, an empty speech mark uh, and then print the whole thing out as one. And that will print it all out onto multiple lines. 
time.sleep, and then we'll do time.sleep one second. Uh, once you've slept for a second, or your computer program, then what we'll do is we'll clear the screen ready for the next bit of the animation. So let's save that. Okay, now you can run this in idle, um, but the best way to run it is to run it in the terminal, the black screen. Uh, that way uh, you can take advantage of the OS dot system clear uh, or CLS. So let's show you how we do that in Windows. In Linux it's a lot easier, you just click on terminal. So on Windows here, Windows 10, right click on the, um, the Windows uh, button there and then just choose command prompt, which will take you into here. I'm in the wrong directory, so I need to go to CD space desktop, which will take me to the right directory. And now I'm in the right directory. Uh, we can see it there. There it is, Pac-Man 1, Pac-Man 2, and uh, animate animation.py. I can then just run that animation. Python animation.py. Oops, name frame. Uh, frames dot append there we go not frame dot append let's try that again there you go good so there it is and it now works it, it animates uh, does two and then ends the program um, but we want to be able to improve that we don't want to just um, we don't want to just animate once, we want it to keep going a number of times. So the easiest way to do that is here, just before we start our loop to print each frame, let's put these inside of um, another loop. And I'll just do 10 for iron range 10. And then move those into there so that it will repeat the whole process 10 times. Save that, uh, which I just did control S for Windows. And now, there you go. That's it. It now animates through your art. If you want to speed it up, then you can just change the time.sleep to 0 0.1 or whatever you want to do. Um, you can experiment as much as you like. Let's just kill that program and let's try that again. There you go. So that's going much, much quicker now. And again, you can just experiment exactly how you want with as many frames. So there you go, that's the entire tutorial, um, or at least that's the simple version of it. I will show, if you want to keep watching now, I'll show you how you can improve it. So you can put all of this into a um, into a function, and uh, which will allow you to make your program more reusable. Uh, if you're doing lots of ASCII art in your program, you can put all these into a function, and then each each time you call a function, you can give it different file names um, which is much, much uh, more efficient. So let me show you how we do that. So what we'll do here is this bit here of the code. We'll put that and let's just call this uh, animator. We'll create a function called animator. There we go, because it's going to be an ASCII animator. And move all that into the function. And this function is going to take some input parameters it is going to take the um, file names, the uh, the delay, and we'll set that to default to one. And the um, let's call this um, how many times it repeats? Let's call it repeats, and let's call that ten. If we'll click repeat to 10. There you go. So we give it a file name. Uh, that's a required file name because uh, we need to load it some ASCII art. The delay is going to default to one second, but we can change that. And the repeat is going to be 10 times. So what we do now is um, here where it says uh, that file names, that's fine. So that's automatically the same as that anyway. So it'll pull it straight from that um, input parameter. And now all we have to do is for the Ryan range there, that's going to be, put, we're going to put repeat instead. So it's going to take that 10 from there. And then the delay here, where it says time.sleep, we'll just change that to delay. Now, why have we all done all that? Well, the reason being is that now what we can do is we can call the function. So for instance, animator, we give it a list of file names, which will take from that list. And you can give it any list. There we are. 
uh, and then you can then you can actually set the delay. So let's do 0 0.1, and then repeat. And let's do five times. There we go. Repeat. Oh. Repeat equals five. There we go. So if we save that now and run that. There you go. So it does it five times. But you can do this loads of times in your program. So let's just do. Um, if I want to run it all three times at different speeds, I can do delay two. There you go. I'll do that 0.5. So we can run this one line of code anywhere in our program. Um, and it will do it. It will change speeds. So it'll do it five times, and then it will go faster, and then it will go faster again. There you go. And then it should go really, really slow. There you go. Okay, and of course, if we've got um, different animations that we want to do, so that's our Pac-Man animation, but let's say we've got another animation, um, so you could call that file names one, or um, instead of doing file names one, you could call that um, that's Pac-Man. There we go. And then here, you just change that to Pac-Man. And let's say you've got another one called um, whatever title screen or something. And then you can put all of your file names in there. And then you just change the file name each time. So it means that you can do lots of different ASCII animations without having to keep typing all of this code. So it's really, really useful. I'll just get rid of that. Get rid of that so you can see all the code. And there it is. There we go. Okay, good luck. Any uh, questions, comments, or suggestions, uh, just add them to the video. And thank you very much for watching.